Hi, my name is Joshua Scabito. You may have seen me in such classes as COM 314, COM 313, COM 232, COM 108, COM 106, and so on and so forth. Today we're going to talk about an important subject, whistleblowing. Now whistleblowing is when an illegal, unethical, or even an immoral action has taken place within the workplace. Let's take this one step further. Whistleblowing is the term used to define an employee's decision to disclose this information to an authority figure such as a boss, the media, or any government official. Whistleblowers are potentially beneficial to our society. Businesses that have been practicing unethical business con you know, conductions have actually been shut down because of whistleblowers. Now, throughout time, we have had seen time and time and time and time again, such as Tyco, Enron, MCI, and other big corporations that have, once again, been shut down because of who? The whistleblower. Measures such as the Sobronis Oaksley Act and the Whistleblower Protection Act have been established since 1994 because of the whistleblower. Now, employees have a responsibility and they have the inside, inside depth onto how corporate runs. Now, if they use it as a responsibility to report unethical practices, it will help the employer, the company, and the people in the long run. <sighs> now, we have actually devised a 10-step process for employees to approach or even consider going through this difficult process. We like to call this the 10-step process for effective whistleblowers. <laughs>Sit back, relax, take some notes, but definitely pay attention to this important process. Step number one, are you ready to put your career on the line? Talk to your family and friends so that they can be with you when times get tough. Step number two, decide which of the alternatives you can use to solve the problem. For example, will your superior retaliate against you? If so, then don't tell that person. Is there a confidential way to pass along the information to the proper authorities so that an investigative group can take some action? The ethical functioning of the government or the corporation is the responsibility of all persons in the organization. <laughs> If you are the only one with the information, you will become the target of investigation. Step 4. Keep a log or a diary. Of all the facts or insights about the case, if legal testimony is inquired at some point, this log may be helpful in constructing a chronologically of all the events. Identify your supporting documents before you draw attention to yourself. Afterwards, it may be too late. Once you blow the whistle, records may disappear and not be accessible to you. Step number four. Identify your support groups, such as elected officials, Nonprofit organizations, journalists, church or social clubs, professional organizations, and others. If you do not have a group behind you, whistleblowing will be a lonely and uphill battle. Often these groups can act as third parties to speak to other press and others. Point number five, before you go public with the information, attempt to carefully and informally talk with the selected and trusted peers. 
Ask what they think about the problem. Remember that you will need to be tough-minded to stick it out. Your witness and friends may be pressured to come forward with information against you. So the support of peers in addition to families and friends are extremely important. Step 6. Check with groups who work with the whistleblowers for advice and support and develop an action strategy for your case. Integrity International, the Government Accountability Project, and the Project of Government Procurement might be helpful. Whistleblower cases tend to have similar legal strategies and building on the experience of others is helpful. Remember though, that these groups are usually have a waiting list of clients. Step number seven, if you cannot think of a way to anonymously leak your information, talk with your attorney to determine whether your legal position is sound. You may also want to know the fees and upfront costs in the case you will need to file a lawsuit. This is extremely important. You may not have enough savings to cover your legal costs. Step number eight, be on your best behavior. Once you whistle blow, your supervisor and, co and colleagues will be observing your behavior. So don't make your situation worse by breaking some obvious rule. For example, by arriving late to work or leaving work early. Be aware that the support staff may be asked to observe you or security police may be used to investigate you. Step number nine, focus your disclosure on the facts rather than on the individual and the organization, avoiding pointing the finger to at anyone. Rather, let the disclosure itself leave a trail to the guilty party or parties. Step number 10, leak the information. Despite the recent controversies about leaks in Congress and all levels of the government leak information, since it is important to protect your identity, I recommended that giving the information to a third party who will leak the information. The task is to get the necessary information to the proper investigative group so that they can do their work. Attempt to keep out the path of the inquiry. Do not be afraid to retreat. Though every situation is different, this has built the foundation for pursuing effective whistleblowing. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully you were encouraged by the making of this video. Once again, my name is Joshua Escobedo. Have a wonderful night.